It seems about every week now, I hear about massive amounts of animals being dumped and are in danger of being put to sleep because of lack of resources. And this is what happened when 50 hamsters were found in a bucket and were about to be put to sleep. And then a miracle happened. The hamster rescue was able to save all 50 of these hamsters and the joyous and also difficult work of finding them homes and getting them placed in rescues began. A wonderful foster named Carissa was able to pull them from the animal shelter and get them to safety. Hamster Rescue is now in the process of placing them in rescues and fosters all over California and beyond. If there was anything I could do, I wanted to help. So I met up with the Hamster Rescue and I took on some hamsters that were gonna go to the home sweet hammy home in Arizona. Hey, it's Scotty. So, more hammies. So I'm in, where are we, Pomona? Pomona. And I'm hooked up with the hamster rescue. Look at this, of course, if you were a hamster rescue, what kind of vehicle <laughs> would you drive? It's the hamster car. Uh, <laughs> do you guys know the hamster dance? So, <laughs> that that I'll, I'll help produce. That'll be their, your first music video. Okay, perfect. Uh, I know the, those hamsters. They do some kind of hamster dance, yeah. right? Yeah, in in, so. in that thing. So, yeah. We'll have to go into the archives, but I'd love to learn more about the rescue and whatever you guys want to share. Well, first off, I want to say thank you to everybody that has shared our post, gotten the word out. You know, that helped us connect with Scotty. That's gonna yeah. transport these hamsters to. Home sweet having home. Um, and also a huge, huge thank you to everybody that has donated. This wouldn't have been possible also without you guys. You know, thanks to you, they're getting the life that they deserve, all the supplies that they need. You know, slowly but surely, we do have all the bins. You know, we just have to work on adding the ventilation, which is why it's taking a while. But they've all been separated by gender. You know, at the moment, we are adopting out only the males. The females are on pregnancy watch, so those will have to wait about a month. So, you know, so they can be adopted. I'll put all your social media. But you can find us on uh, Instagram. Yep. her on instagram at hamster rescue uh also and on put it right there facebook is uh hamster also rescue, rescue. Yeah. facebook.com slash hamster rescue uh, it, if you don't have social media you can contact us through email hamster rescue at yahoo.com um, and you were talking about your uh the volunteer that helped helped you save yes, yes. Uh, so these actually i didn't think i would be able to save them because i myself have close to 200 at my rescue so i have no room for these you know so of, of course i was sad depressed because i had no plans for them yeah i kept you know thinking and praying like god i just want somewhere to put them at you know that's all i need is somewhere to put them at and not even an hour later i get a message from my amazing foster carissa and she said hey what can i do to help i don't have supplies i don't have you know a lot but i just have room to put them in yeah so if that's enough let me know and I said, thank you, like, you're the answer to my prayers. That's literally all I've been praying for is somewhere to put them at. So a huge thank you to her. She's, been, she's housing all of those 50 right now at her house. You know, we've been going there every day to, you know, give her more supplies that she needs, you know, help keep separating them because, yes, they've all been fighting. Um, so every day we have to take out more and more from the group. Oh. So at some point we'll have 50, well, not 50 anymore because thankfully yes. we're taking some. Yes, so we're taking about 10 of them, I guess, eight, eight or so. Yeah, eight or so. We'll so, see. Uh, these ones are going to Arizona, yeah. back to the home sweet hammy home. But yeah, it, it's kind of cool, this network that we're building. And uh, yeah. How many people love animals and they all yeah. work together to help them? That's the reason that I wanted to get on camera, to, to, to thank you, oh. <laughs> I, I, You probably don't. You I'm know, blushing. You're probably just another day, you know, and you're just doing what you can. You're not really thinking about it, but you, sir, truly are an well, hero. And I mean, without you volunteering to take these guys all the way to Arizona, I mean, who knows, you know, how long they would be without, without a forever. I, I love to drive, and, and really, it is a pleasure to watch them, um, you know, they have they get names they they all I, I you'd be the through social media you know i i get to follow their stories i mean it's and even if i didn't i just can't sit back knowing that they're going to be put to sleep when it's so pointless and so unnecessary so i mean i'm i'm, I'm happy to help 
be just a small link in the yeah, chain and, and, yeah, and yeah, unbelievably appreciated. and to share you know uh, hopefully you know we can drum up interest I'm gonna see what I can do about getting some cute footage of them and and really get to know some of them and and like I said you know when they get to Arizona and the home sweet hammy home we can follow their stories and and um, I really hope people will learn more about the more I learn about hammies, the more I love them. I mean, especially in these these dwarfs, they are just so cute, so amazing, so fun to watch and and and, and you, you know. And so friendly as you thought. Oh man, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I put my hand in, and the girl she she has an eye injury. Um, she probably got in a fight, yeah. and uh, so I'm gonna get to put eye ointment on her. So yeah, I guess. <laughs> So we'll be cutting to that, to me attempting to, I'll, have, I'll get my, my um, magnifying eyeglasses and, and I'll put some eye ointment on her and, and we you know. We just want to encourage people, you know, to not buy animals from pet stores. And yeah. Stop supporting them. This is the part where I, where I flash the big yellow uh, adopt, don't shop, don't shop, adopt, flashing right now, huge. If you don't have a rescue try out shelters you know. yeah they don't always announce pet finder is a really great way um, there's a couple of, of pet websites that you can search even yeah, Craigslist, Craigslist yeah, a lot right. you know a lot of rescues will post in Craigslist I just want to say again you know thank you to everybody yeah 50 hamsters with a, with a you know a 24 to 48 hour notice is I, I mean she was sick she couldn't oh, yeah. sleep she was yeah. crying so yeah because everybody that knows me knows I want to I don't know so it. I, I had a dream actually because I, I right before I went to sleep home sweet hammy home Carrie mes messaged me and she's like these hamsters are going to be put to sleep and 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 what are we going to do and I had a dream that I was jumping out of an airplane with Carrie from the home sweet hammy home we were like tied together and 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 the parachute wouldn't open and it finally opened and we ended up inside some big barn and I was like, that had to have been, you know, like, how are, yeah. how are we going to solve this? How are we, you know, because it was a life or death situation. Yeah, sure. And, you know, well, for these guys, the parachute opened and, and uh, you know, they're going to they're going to make yeah, it. Absolutely, so man. The, the, the outreach and the, man, it's crazy to think that, you know, it just. 50 hamsters from, from Southern California, you know. Found in a bucket. Found in a bucket. <laughs> found in a... You know, reached all the way to, you know, a, 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 a rescue in, in Arizona, you know. Yeah. And then you in Los Angeles, you know, like, it's just crazy, like, how much, I mean, there's been donations domestically and internationally. I mean, from Germany. Yeah. From like... Germany and England, like, the, the, the it's, amount of help. That it's all the people it, watching it's, this. Yeah. And yeah, it, none of this, none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for Carissa for being willing to open up her home, and for all of the help from everybody who's donated. Yeah. So I cannot thank you enough. Yeah, thank you guys so much because yeah, it's really it's all about all of us, the people that are watching this video, all of the supporters, and and so yeah, and and that's 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 why I'm trying to make these videos to really share the story and uh, get everyone involved. Oh my gosh, watching them try to work this wheel together is so hilarious. But they are figuring out that they got to be on the outside. Come on. Come on, guys. Turn around. No, oh, I love these guys. Come on, you got to work together. There you go. Together. <laughs> I love them. Come on, work together. Yay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this cute girl. Oh, look her eyes opening a little bit. Oh my gosh, they're doing such a good job at the hamster rescue in California. And uh, look, both of these eyes are starting to open a bit. But 
Um, I need to give her this eye drops, eye ointment, gel, because she got in a fight with one of her cage mates, and um, it might have been a lover's quarrel. But anyways, her eye was hurt. She's like, uh-oh, I know what this is. So I gotta give her some gel on the eye. But it gives me a chance to get to know her. Hey! It gives me a chance to get to know her. But you can see that she's squinting a little bit. Yes, she is a squirmy girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not sure. This is not going to be that easy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to... Oh, she just... She just climbed in my sleeve. Okay, come on. Come on, sweet girl. I just gotta put a drop on each eye. Come on. But you can see she's very friendly. Um, let's see. How can I do this? I thought maybe I could put her in the little... BB, you're not helping me. I know, BB. Oh, she's so tiny. Come here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought we were. I thought we had it. Oh, I love you, little honey. Come on. <laughs> she is so cute. Hey, BB. <laughs> you can come down here and hold her. Come on. No, no, no. Now she's nibbling when I squeeze her. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. I don't know how Maria did it. Luckily her eyes are opening. So I feel even if I don't do a very good job, she's still... And I don't want to squirt this all over her face. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Be a good girl. Come on, be a good girl. Maybe if I give her a treat. Here. No? Oh. Oh, don't eat it. What happened to that sunflower seed? I don't know if I'm supposed to put it on something. Come on. Yay. <laughs> this is not easy. Come on, good girl. Probably. Aw. Putting it on a cotton ball for a Q-tip and then wiping it might be the best way. So I got a Q-tip. I'm going to just goop it up. And then try to, hey, don't run away. Try to wipe it on her eye. I think that was it. That was the way to do it. Oh man. <laughs> She's running blind. I love her. Well, I went ahead and I made two more bin cages. Luckily, they all stack and then I can put all the wheels and the Heidi's and everything in the water bottles inside one of the cages and and they don't take up much space I can just put them in the garage and it's no big deal so I'm gonna load these guys up and we're gonna get on the road well if Nintendo ever needs a video game idea I've got one it's called hamster Tetris <laughs> I can't believe that I was able to fit all these cages. I had to rearrange things, um, slide my front seat up, but look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cages back here. And uh, we're on the way. Let's go. <laughs>
So just made it to the truck stop where I'm meeting Carrie from the Home Sweet Hammy Home in Arizona. And all the hammies are doing good. I got a nice spot underneath the shaded. I think it's actually a bunch of solar panels. Very smart, very smart. So this this one is one of the ones from the DJ's Fin and Paw. It's funny because I'm doing two videos kind of simultaneously. I rescued the fish and then I, res I, I rescued um, all these, or I'm tr helping transport the hammies from the 50 ones that, that California. Are you recording already? Yeah. How is the fish? The fish is good. Okay. Uh, I rescued him. I have the exact same. He's a dojo loach and I rescued him and he's already acclimated. Him and the other dojo loach have been getting along and, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. But, you know, while I was there, there was this hammy in here and they had the teddy bear hamster. The teddy bear hamster's over there. Um, this I, looks like the little girl. Yes, I think, yeah, that's the one with the eyes closed. Okay. But look, they're starting to open. She's very tiny, too. Oh, she's I, so tiny. I doubt very much that she's pregnant. I hope very much that she's not pregnant. Uh, yeah, her eyes are open. Yeah, they are opening. I did my best, but that was so difficult. I found that if I put it on like a Q-tip or something. <laughs> so, so yeah, we can just start transporting them and then, uh, you know, we can assess who's who and who's from where. And But basically, all of them are from the hamster rescue except for um, this, this one. This is the big teddy bear who is really awesome. I just, he's more afraid than then aggressive okay. so and then this other one and hopefully they'll come out when we start moving them okay, just tell me who's here. okay. look at that there's not much in their cages wow I set, these are just travel cages oh wow and I then they're going to go into really like even nice bigger set. cages man yeah so i didn't put yeah. any wheels or anything you travel just gonna be sleeping. you travel in style and i brought a bunch of little carriers just in case because yeah they seem to be Oh, and they seem to be getting along. You can tell that, that that's a girl just by looking at her. Yes, that's a female. Why? Because there's no there. testicles sticking out? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that, but you said it. We call them cherries at the rescue. But I can't tell how much she is. Um, so we can transfer her. In. Yeah, well, she is very fearful. So. Okay. Oh, but look at her. Yeah, she is really cute. And she's like pretty, she's like a little polar bear. Yeah, she's older, the way she's walking. Okay, and and I've said this before, but if for whatever reason you're like, I can't take this one, or I can't take any of them, you know, I, I'm, um, I Scotty, can always take them back. I will never say I can't take any of them. Everybody that knows me knows I don't say no. Yeah. No, I'll take her. Well, don't, don't advertise that. Oh, pretty. What are we? I love her. Okay, so we'll let's get her. No, it's funny because I've been at the rescue and and like. But I think she's just being vocal. When she gets into the cage, I set up for her. I'm sure she's fine. Earthquake! Come on! Come out! So you see this one is um, got like the brown with the stripe. Hey, you. you, come on. There, there. Come on. Hi. You're so little. You're a baby too. Hi, little one. Are you a boy? I think they climb in the red cup because they're expecting there to be beer in there. No. <laughs> Just because they go in anything. <laughs> So no, everyone and wants to know why I'm getting hamsters from California and not Arizona. Yeah. And you know what the reason is? The is reason why you're getting hamsters from California and not Arizona is because we've got so many more that are... And Arizona is, is no kill. So all of Arizona is no kill? Well, in Tucson. I don't know about all of oh. Arizona, but mostly in Tucson. But two, our two shelters, one of them doesn't take small animals anymore. And the other one will take them, but they just have to live there. I wonder because I'm not sure if the, the where these these guys came from the S S C E S E C A A I don't know in Downey. Yeah, which is weird because I thought they're a private shelter. They're not because 
There's a, the shelter where we got the other ones before. That was the LA County shelter. These ones came from a different shelter. In okay, so this is how you check the sex of a of a hammy. This is a boy. And what are we looking for? For a it's space the, in between. Oh yes. The the private yep. parts. So you are okay. definitely a boy. The space is greater. It's a boy. Right. And it's almost no space if it's a girl. And if it's a girl, it, it looks different. What do you think? It's hard to tell, right? You are a boy. Only because I see his little baby. <laughs> he's so mad at you. You do not like, but he's not trying to bite. Uh, no. So I didn't need the gloves, but oh well, he's not going to know it was me that did that to him. Yeah. Okay, can I get you in there too? Okay. Elevator to your cage. Whoop. Transport cage. So hamsters can have kale, huh? Yes, and this has water in it. Water and so kale. It will be a hydration source for the trip home. Let's see. She's very it. curious. She is. What's a good name for her? You could get to name her. Hmm. You, you yeah. could name her Silky. That's cute. Like almond milk silk. What color is she? She's like, She's like an color. almond. We could name her Marshmallow. She does like the cake. I want to name her. I want her to have a name that, like, when adopters see her, they're like, "I would never change the name." Well, if we can get her, we yeah, she's. Look how cute she is. I know, but she, she wants it. She wants it. Here. She wants to sink her teeth into me. <laughs> They're more concerned with me than... <laughs> they see you as a way out. I'm not. You too, they see a cage. So, we're all packed up and we'll get on the road, but I just want to thank you and let everyone know <laughs> that if you guys want to adopt a hamster, or if uh, you want to learn more about the Home Sweet Hammy Home, I will put all of the information right here on the screen and also, of course, always in the description. Um, hopefully you can hear me because we're, we're at a very busy truck stop that's right in the middle. I do. Right in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it really is. But uh, it is busy. Yeah, so, and of course, you know, it's been all of us working together to get these guys to a safe place so um, thank you guys for all your support because that's what really thank makes you. this all possible so I hope you guys really enjoyed this rescue adventure learning more about some of the different hamster rescues we've got the hamster rescue California the home sweet hammy home and then of course, two of these guys came from DJs, Finn and Paul. So uh, I'm really, really glad that this was a success. So until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>